God of War Ragnarok is out next week, November 9th, I want to mm-hmm. say. Yeah. Uh, we have spent the last uh, week or so uh, putting it through its paces. Mm, um, indeed we have. And we now have the comparison of all comparisons. Um, I'll tell you the first interesting uh, point of note is that uh, the PS4 Pro version actually mm. has two modes, which I thought that they'd done away with for like the last gen. Because yeah. this was meant to be next gen only, right? I think originally it was, yeah. And then they realised that, oh, not many people have a PS5. Maybe we should make a PS4 version. Yeah. And here is the PS4 version, Rich. You've got oh. a solid on on, a, on the PS4, solid 30. Yeah. And mm-hmm. the PS4 Pro resolution mode, solid 30. And then performance mode, you've got like, it, it's between like 45 and 50. Hmm. Like, so, which isn't too bad considering this is like last generation that wasn't even meant to be supported. Yeah. Um, and obviously 45 is Ten times better than thirty. Um, <laughs> not, not, um, yeah, not mathematically, but I know what you mean. No, no, but yeah. like experience-wise, mm. um, no, it's that's like saying like sixty frames on the, the performance mode on the PS5 is twice as good as the resolution mode on the mm-hmm. PS5. But that's right, not right. true, Rich, because it's ten times better as well. So right, fair enough. Um, but yeah, like uh, rock solid across the board, uh, no issues, uh, and I played it all the way through on performance mode and had no issues whatsoever. Mm. Um, it was a very polished game. There's some, some bugs in terms of uh, texture <coughs> pop-ins I noticed on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Yeah. Um, when you first enter an area. Didn't really have that on the PS5. Did, did you have anything like that? I saw maybe one, I think, when a certain thing happens in, I think, Vanaheim. But it was very, very minor, sort of blink and you miss it little thing. And I'm sure it's probably been patched or will be at least patched day one. Um, okay. But it looks stunning. There has been a patch already, hasn't there? Yeah, there's been a couple of minor little hot fixes, basically, yeah. But, like, look on the PS4, it doesn't look awful. Uh, no, I think it looks really Pro good. It is actually a really good version. Um, and it just shows how good the Pro, and mm. as we said on other videos, the One X's were, like, in yeah. terms of consoles. Yeah. That, that it's actually numbed that jump into next gen. Because mm. if they didn't exist, the jump to next gen will be massive. But mm. like... It's true, that kind of mid-gen refresh kind of, uh, yeah, made things yeah. interesting. Like the character models are f- fantastic though, right? Yeah, yeah, like, really good. Some of the best in the industry, I'd say. Mm. Like, look, at, and this is the like the um, the next gen version, or the current gen, whatever you want, you want to say it. But like, look at like under his, his left eye, it's like the wrinkles and just the wear and tear on his skin. Mm. Like, and on his armour as well, it's just... Yeah. It's phenomenal. The detail's which. crazy, yeah. Just stunning. But yeah, I've tried to do all these shots from as early in the game as possible as well, so that people aren't spoiled. I don't want to spoil environments or anything for people, so this is all from in the first mm-hmm. hour or so, maybe two hours. Yeah. This is Svartal, Svartal fame, isn't it? Svartal fame. Yeah, and then this is yeah. literally as you spawn into it. <clears throat> mm. Like, the Pro is a very good version. But, like, between performance and resolution, there is very little. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't play performance... Uh, sorry, resolution. Um, no, it's, I wouldn't you've either. You've got to play performance. No, and I'd usually say I'm happy with 30 frames and, you know, lovely detailed uh, visuals, but this, I think, 60 frames is the way to go. And like you say, yeah, it's such sure. a negligible difference between resolution and performance. I can barely tell, actually, right, looking yeah. at them. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, no. There's not one bit. Actually, I'll tell you what, there is. There might be ray tracing on the resolution because the lighting's completely different. Like, look on the roof as well. This is something yeah. I noticed when I was editing the video last night. That's the only thing I noticed, though, to be fair. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, but yeah, in terms of everything else, like, it's it's a game where your, your timing parries and your blocking mm. and your dodging and yeah. every 60 frame frames counts. makes a difference. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. So um, you have to do it on 60. Like, no, I can't imagine do. anyone playing it on 30. Yeah, I like, mean, I, I, I have a TV that was good enough to uh, do the high frame rate and variable refresh rate settings as well. So if you can do that on top of everything else, then, then do it, yeah. Turn everything on, turn everything you got, up. What, you got a 120 FPS TV now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. VRR, jobby. I feel like I'm behind the times at the moment. Oh. To be yeah, fair, yeah. my... Um, my TV's fantastic, but it's got bl- burning now, so that might be just an oh, excuse no. to get a new one. Yeah, throw it out. 
And I also, mm. actually, weirdly, this is completely off topic. I, I mm. eyed up a, a new capture device that does 4K 120. So mm. maybe we'll bring the 120 into... Oh, by me. Um, yeah, right? Great Crazy. time. Like, this is a good shot, by the way, Rich. Yeah, awesome. The moss, like, the, oh, this, yeah. the weed or whatever that's growing on that. Amazing. Yeah, like, phenomenal. Uh, and mm. in terms of as you go up the late, as you can see... Uh, resolution, there seems to be a little bit more detail on this one. Yeah. But PS4 Pro just goes to show, and that's yeah. performance as well. I didn't mark that up. Um, Tell you what, uh, if you've still got a vanilla PS4 as well, I mean, Christ. I, yeah, it looks all right. Not bad, is it? Yeah. No, it looks all right on the PS4. Um, as you can see here, like, it doesn't look awful and it's playable. The only issue mm. is it's 30 FPS. But yeah. I think if you've got a PS4 Pro and you're playing it on performance mode, like you're going to have just a good experience as those on the PS5. Obviously not a better experience or mm. the same experience, but not far off. Like, yeah. It looks good visually, and in terms of frames, like 45, 50, like pretty decent for a game yeah. that wasn't even meant to be on the platform. Yeah, no, it's impressive. But, um, but like, yeah. I just like the PS4. I'm actually really impressed. Like weirdly, mm. um, like if you had an old PS4 and you like, and, and you haven't had a chance to buy into uh, into next gen yet, uh, you, you're going to experience a very good game, Rich. Yeah, I mean, you and I played primarily on PS5, didn't we? Um, yeah, yeah. So obviously, well, you know, we got the best possible experience. But I, I don't think I'd feel shortchanged if I was on PS4 Pro. It still looks. You know, well, because amazing. of how the saves work across, it's unlike Xbox where the saves works across. Mm. I have to, I had to play all this on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Um, oh, really? Well, oh, the right. save goes between the PS4 and the PS4 Pro, but not the other um, way. So I played it like four hours on the PS4 and the PS4 Pro. Right. So, and, and my experience was this is all right. It's pretty good. Like can't mm. complain. Like I'll tell you what I will notice is that the the PS4 Pro it sounds like a jet engine though when the game's oh. running. Yeah. What about the vanilla PS4? What does that sound like? No, no I don't think, like, no issues. But yeah, I think, that's weird. But I think the PS4 Pro's got more fans and stuff like that ah, to stop right. the overheating. Um, okay. But yeah, like, it did sound like a jet engine. And, and mm. I've got the new, one of the new PS4 Pros, the Spider-Man one as well, so. Okay. Hmm. Weird. God, it yeah. looks great on PS5. Sorry. It just, it just no, blows no, me it away, does. man. It's like just the textures, stunning. like the shells and everything. Mm. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, across the board, um, and then like the lighting, like just and the detail on the armor and stuff like that. Yeah. And the detail in the background and the parts and stuff like that. Like, uh, it's yeah, it's it's a fantastic, fantastically created um, mm. world, both interiors and exteriors, and yeah, character stunning. models. And uh, I actually um. I actually went back to the 2018 God of War just to compare it because in my head that's that game still looks amazing, you know. And I thought, oh, it looks kind of the same. And bloody hell! I mean, I was playing it on PS5 with the like uh, frame rate boost, and um, what you realise is that this is so much more fluid. Even the combat's a little bit faster and really? more responsive. I'm like, geez, yeah. Like it was hard to get back into it because this is this is a step up, and I don't think I'd have necessarily acknowledge that had I not been back to the old game and compared them um, yeah, so, yeah I wouldn't have said that like mm. obviously I've not gone back and played them like you but like yeah, yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't have expected that um, response at all I mean, it's still brilliant but um, yeah it's, it's just interesting that um, it has been refined and tightened up and you know this is I would say mechanically fundamentally a better game um, yeah for sure which is amazing, well, really. That's a yeah. hell of an accomplishment. <laughs> Which, yeah, it's kind of crazy, actually, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. That to build yourself at such a base. But they usually say that the the, the second game in a franchise is always the best. Mm. Although it's just you technically learn from the the sixth or something, is it? <laughs> no, but it's not, though, is it? Like, no. This is this is the reboot, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is the second game in the, the new franchise, should I say? Mm. Like, Although I did like the, the nods, base. the nods to his past that you'd get. Which were cool. Yeah, there's a know. lot. I like that. There's a lot of stories mm. that you're telling on the lakes and stuff like yeah. that. Like, and it's like, oh yeah, that's from that game. Oh yeah, so that's I from remember that. Game. that yeah. <laughs> it's like there's there's one where you did a tournament with a famous. It wasn't a poet. It was a famous. Mm. It was like songwriter or something like that. Oh right, yeah. 
Um, but that's from another game because I looked it up. I didn't know that because I've never <laughs> been a massive God of War fan until the new um, oh, batch. I've played more. Yeah. But yeah, Rich, that is God of War Ragnarok. It's out on the 9th of November. Yep. Um, yeah, like good versions all round. Um, very mm-hmm. technical game. I did find a few bugs later on in the game. Yeah, um, you did. And a few on the PlayStation version, one where I actually got stuck. Mm. Um, and I had to keep loading old saves and restarting the game because it wouldn't uh, let me interact with stuff. But right. um, I think I know what you mean, and I think that did get fixed. So um, oh, hopefully, really? if you're buying this on launch day, you should be okay. Well, that was yesterday, though, Rich. So oh, uh, mm, okay, maybe not then. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, thanks for watching, folks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Just folks. Goodbye. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>